everybody, it's Amanda, and it is Thursday, and it's time for my grocery haul. This is a really busy time right now. I know I say that all the time, but like right now, um, Marquise is going back to the dorms, Lord willing, hopefully, on tomorrow, Friday. <laughs> Think about what all is happening. So, um, so he will not be here anymore, and then Brianna will be starting college next week and then of course we only have a couple of weeks left until we well i guess a few weeks left but in, until we travel for the wedding so I'm, my mind is just filled with all these things that are happening and plans and at the same time i'm trying to refill my freezer since if you haven't seen my video I'll link to the top where the freezer got left open and we lost a lot of the food so um, i'm really trying to replace that but at the same time our pantry is pretty full because we've had that stocked for a while so I went out today, not really needing to buy anything, but just with the idea that I wanted to still work on packing on uh, the pantry and also that I wanted to see if there were any good deals that I could pick up and I limited myself to about a $60 budget. And I actually thought I did better than I did, but I'll explain that to you when I show you the receipts. So let's take you to the board and show you my total and then we'll talk about the receipts and then we'll talk about what we purchased. Okay, so here are my totals, and it's kind of light, but we'll, we'll read it. Discount grocery, I spent $30.57. Ingles, I spent $19.47. And Food Line, I spent $9.68. Grr, I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. And then my total altogether was $59.72. I was under my $60 mark. But let me show you the receipts, and we're going to talk a little bit about those receipts, okay? Okay, so these are my receipts, and of course you can see Discount Grocery, $30.57, Ingles, $19.47, and Food Lion, $9.68. Now here's the deal. Um, on the table, you are not going to see this beef, you can see it ring up at $9.33, or this ground turkey, which the ground turkey rang up at $7.99, and there was 50 cents taken off. Now here's the weird thing, okay? She, the girl was ringing me up at the register and I didn't really see what happened, but I saw her pause and I looked at what she did and then I saw her take 50 cents off the total. That's all I saw, just the 50 cents. And I was like, huh, that's weird. And so when my total was 968, I was like, okay, I just, I didn't realize that that was what I'd spent, but okay, I paid it, move on. Well. Let me show you those meats. You can see that that ground turkey should have been $4.49. She must have rang it with the back. Maybe they didn't mark it off. I don't know. But I, when I got home, because I, I'm filming this just a couple of hours, literally a couple of hours after I bought it. But when I got home, because I knew it was going to be a space of time and I wanted to put it in the freezer, I went ahead and filmed the containers they were in. And then I split them up into their own little separate one pound packages to put them in the freezer. Like I always do when I buy meat in bulk. And I put the package that it originally came in in the trash. And my husband, you know, we were getting lunch together. He left for work. And when he left, he took the trash with him. Well, then I was getting set up for the video. And I was looking at the receipts. And I was like, hold on a minute. I got charged $7.49 for that ground turkey. I am unhappy with that. <laughs> it's my fault. I'm not unhappy with any other person. Except I feel like she obviously did catch it, so she probably should have corrected it properly. But it's my fault I didn't catch it to begin with. So this is just a reminder to you all. When they are ringing your items, watch. I was distracted. I should have paid attention. Watch and make sure you are getting all of your right prices. Because that is a big difference in price. I actually only bought it because it was marked down like that. And I was like, oh wow, it's just over a dollar a pound. That's a really good price. I'm going to pick that up. And I overspent. And you know that hurts my soul. Maybe no one else will care, but it hurts my soul. <laughs> so anyway, so I just, that I'm, I'm sharing it with you as a reminder. Double check when they are ringing you up. Anyway, I'm trying to get over it now. 
I've already bought it. Rick already took, I can't, like, because I was thinking, I'm going to take this receipt and go back to the store and have them change that price. But then I'm like, I don't even have the package. What am I going to do? Show them the video? So I'm out. It's a loss. But I got some other good deals and it, I think, made up for the prices. So we're going to go with that and just be happy with the deals that we got. Okay, so now that we've had that conversation, let me show you what's on the table and what I actually purchased and what's going to go in our pantry and fridge and freezer this week. Okay, so this is everything else that we got and I'm going to turn the light on here. Okay, so we will start over here. The only other thing that I actually got at Food Lion besides that turkey was this corn. It was actually three for a dollar and it was the best price of corn that I've seen around here. So I grabbed six ears of corn for $2. That was the only other thing I got at Food Lion. And then I got beef as well, which I showed you at Ingalls for the 9.33. They had this big package or big container of heavy whipping cream on sale for $3.98. And then um, we were out of Parmesan cheese. Brianna convinced me to get the big one because it was a better deal, you know, per ounce. And it was $5.78. So that's what we got at Ingalls. Everything else came from my discount grocery store, and there were some really good deals. For instance, orange juice. There are two um, containers of orange juice here, and they were actually the amazing price of two for a dollar. So this was one dollar, and I'm really excited. I love orange juice, so I was very happy about that. I'm going to wait on the eggs. Italian seasoning. It's kind of in a bad light there, so let me just show you here. Italian seasoning was actually on sale three for 99 cents. So I got six of them because normally that's a dollar a piece. So we grabbed that. And then Brianna wanted this turkey sausage. It's a dollar for four patties, which isn't the best deal, but you know, I told her she could get one and that was that. And we grabbed these chicken breast fillets, the package. I don't know if you can see the price there, but it was $3.50, which this is actually... We actually came home and opened that up and threw it in the oven for my husband's lunch. And we all ate it because it was just something quick and easy so we could get it done. And that is exactly why I have two of these. Because I was like, you know, that's a whole lot cheaper and easier than going through a fast food drive through And I mean, if I'd have bought all of us fast food today, that would have cost well over $20. Instead, we're under 5 So that, I feel like, was a really good purchase. And that's why I have another one just in case. So I also have, they had good deals on fish today. And so we were pretty much out of fish and I love fish. So we grabbed this flounder. It's a two pound package of flounder for $6. And then it's a two pound package of whiting for $6. And then this package of salmon, it's actually 12 ounces for $4.99. Salmon's an expensive fish, but you know, it is what it is. But, um, but I'm glad that I'd be able to put some fish in my freezer because right now I just have some chicken, some ground turkey, and a little bit of beef. And I think I have a whole turkey as well. So I didn't have any fish at all, and this will give us a little bit more variety to have in there for, for when we're eating. But let me talk to you about these eggs real fast. These eggs were actually four for a dollar, which I was very, very excited about. They, but, but... They actually had a big box of 15 dozen eggs for $2.99. That's right, $2.99 for 15 dozen eggs. I wanted to buy it. <laughs> I have bought, I will, I will link at the top, I think there was a time I bought like 30 dozen eggs and I would have definitely bought it if it were not for the fact that we are going to be traveling out of state in less than a month and I knew it would just be sitting here. So I was just like, you know what? I'm leaving the 15 dozen eggs this time, this time, and I'm just taking the four for a dollar. Again, that's Brianna's influence, but she's she was right. She's right. There's so much going on. I don't have time to make all the things and freeze them and do all the things. Better off just taking the four and being happy with the deal I could get. But it was a super great deal, and I'm very happy with that. By the way, have you seen my video on how to find a discount grocery store? If you haven't, I'll link that at the top. If you don't have one in your area, go look for one. I even uh, attached the list of where you can, there's a list that somebody put online and it's not 100% accurate and I know it's not, but you know, it might help you. Go take a peek. Lots of people have been enjoying that. So anyway, so all of this plus the meat is what I got this week. 
So, I mean, I really got, what, how many pounds? I got 13 pounds of meat at least, and then all of the rest of the extra things for under $60, and that's, I think, a pretty good deal. So it is just a little haul this week. I have not had time to make a menu plan, but I am going to make a menu plan because first of all, I'm trying to save every dime I can. And second of all, I don't wanna worry every day about what am I gonna make today? I want it on the board. So if you wanna see my menu plan, you're gonna to have to come back tomorrow because I won't have time to deal with it until then. But be patient with me. <laughs> I, I, I have a lot going on. I'm trying to make sure that I also film and show you guys everything that's going on. like. Um, everything with Marquise and Brianna and college and all the things. Oh, when your children get older, it's so much, but it's a lot of fun. Anyway, all right, that is it for the week. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope it's, it's, you're healthy and happy and I hope you'll come back next time. So you can see our next grocery haul pretty soon here. I'm going to be doing one getting ready for the trip. I'm going to try to prepare some foods for the trip to take with us. And it's just, I have a mental list like a mile long. But anyway, you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for hanging out with me. Come back tomorrow, like I said, see the menu plan, and I'll see you guys next time.